Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be looking at Lara Fabian's Mademoiselle Hyde from the Mademoiselle Chivago musical production from around 2013, I believe. Um, the trailer that I saw uh, had an upload date of 2011. So this is a little bit ago. So um, it's very interesting. Um, I saw the trailer for it. I don't, I don't have it down pat, but... Um, it is a very interesting production, and it has it looks to see it, it looks to be a very highly well produced, of uh, well produced production. So, um, I have seen this once um, because I wanted to get a sense of what it was about and how this was going. Um, so I'm just going to get started with this, and uh, we'll take it from there. J'ai rencontré une femme dans mon rêve. Ma vie réelle a basculé. Je ne veux pas me réveiller. Je dois être avec elle. Dans mes rêves et dans la réalité. Morphine. So this is um, um, the one thing that I noticed about the trailer was that these were all going to be set in a vignette format so that they were all musical videos that were set in a specific time and place. So they had a very specific context. And one of the things that we notice here is this person is addicted to morphine. And so um, if you think about Jekyll and Hyde as a story, so this is uh, the song is Mademoiselle Hyde. Uh, Jekyll and Hyde is about a gentleman who creates a potion that allows him to um, circumvent good and evil. He, he's trying to, to transcend those those things. If, if I remember the story correctly, it's been a while. But it ends up creating a dual personality. And, and if you're looking at someone who's addicted to any sort of drug, it does create that, that sort of dual personality. And here we have this guy on morphine who's sort of going through some very interesting... Um, after effects of, of, of this. And this is, this is my interpretation of it. So if I don't have this right, just, just let me know. But again, this, this, this is a very interesting take on this particular song because I wouldn't necessarily look at Jekyll and Hyde in anything other than just what it is, that there's a formula that allows us to sort of go through and eliminate evil and create good in the world. Um, but it's very interesting to see this take where we're using morphine and drug addiction to to look at this. So I'm going to go back a little bit. Morphine. Morphine m'offre des rendez-vous à chaque fois alors que je plonge dans mes rêves. Je franchis la rivière nocturne. Je sacrifie au batelier une partie de mon corps. Peu importe ce corps. Par amour, je pourrais tout sacrifier. Tout donner. Okay, everybody. Um, for those of you who know Greek mythology, if you can help me out here, there's a lot of stuff going on here that's reminding me of Greek mythology. I know that this there's a lot of there's a lot of words going through my head right now from Greek mythology. Leather, Leth, which is um, the goddess of sleep, if I remember correctly. We have the river Styx here. We have um, Chiron, the 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 um, the ferryman who carries you across. I'm missing all of these things. I'm getting it all wrong in some way. I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of them right, but if you guys know your Greek mythology, please have a field day because I'm, I'm seeing it everywhere in, in this particular um, video. And again, Igor Kotoi, I do remember from the, the, the documentary trailer or the, the trailer regarding this particular production is that he wanted to do it perfectly. Like he wanted to show something that he did really, really well to his children. 
Um, and so again, here, here I'm, I'm seeing a whole bunch of Greek mythology at play. And, uh, so we're going to see, I'm, it, it's, it's clicking with me a little bit on, on this. So if you, you have any more, more knowledge about that, because I, it's, it's just, it's quite intriguing for me. Um, Tout donné. Juste pour apercevoir son regard glacial. Son sourire froid. drawn to is and and this is something that didn't happen and and I've I've reacted to this song in her her live concert um but the interesting part is is the way that the visuals in this the the actual um I'll just call it what it is it's it's a hedonistic orgy I mean it's 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 all back in alia it's all it's all greek just it it's it's very interesting in this sense and it's also sort of very victorian edwardian sort of sensibilities about it it's for for me it's it's hitting a lot of that stuff and so um but but what i'm really pointing out in terms of musically is that the background vocals are making this the the chaos and the and that sort of that this environment this sort of very orgiesque sort of environment just come to life the background vocals are the thing that's really reinforcing this in addition to her costuming and and her looks and stuff like this it's just again this is to me a very masterful presentation of this because i'd never really thought of jekyll and hyde in terms of the use of morphine and all that other stuff because i never really studied that that novel um that um well it's a short novel but I never really studied it that closely. Um, I remember watching the, uh, listening to the musical version of it and, and it was amazing, but I, this is just a very masterful way of, of presenting this, this, this song, um, because it's making my mind go in all sorts of directions and, and I'm seeing all this sort of, uh, just bacchanalian goodness um i don't know how else to explain it um it's just an orgy and this is everything that madonna wishes she would have done in the 90s with all of her like um uh, erotica and all that other sort of stuff this this to me is sort of like the a better version of that and a, an amazing version of that to be honest it's using it in a way that madonna didn't use it um and again you can take it out in the comments on that one but this is just an amazing visual presentation. So let's continue.
again, I, I don't have a lot of words for this because I was trying to absorb it. Like I said, I watched it once, but there's just so much going on in here. I mean, I'm really, I really love how the metaphor of drug addiction and all of that other stuff that, that is known for in Victorian era, like the late 19, um, the late 1800s um, and early 1900s, like Sherlock Holmes and stuff like this, sort of tapping into those metaphors of, of all of that, plus also bringing in all of that, um, those, uh, God, I, it, it, again, the only word that comes to my mind is orgy and hedonism and, and all these words that I don't know any other words for. It's, it's, it's this, this moral, like, gooiness i don't know i i i have i don't know what words to use for this and so i really sort of enjoy that that sort of hyper sexualization of this environment that that in the late victorian like in the victorian eras this sort of stuff was sort of kept out of the universe and so literature was sort of used to to bring all of that sort of us that stuff out in a very controlled way and and this this whole like Greek hedonism, this this whole orgy sort of stuff. I keep saying the word orgy. I apologize, but that I don't know what else to call it. Um, just it it encapsulates a whole bunch of stuff about this this the story that's being told through the song in in the visuals. And and I again maybe I'm overanalyzing it. This is my brain is going in forty different directions right now. So I'm just gonna be quiet right now, and I'm gonna let you guys have fun. Uh, correct me in the comments. I don't mind being corrected. Again, I'm I'm reading this through a whole bunch of lenses, and it's just coming out as one big gloop. And so, um, please take it out in the comments. Let me know what you think. Timestamp stuff. I didn't say a lot in this one, but the background vocals really struck me, even more so than her vocal. It at some point it it like it all her vocal just sort of was so well in tune with this song that it actually sort of disappeared for me for a while. Um, so again, just bring it up in the comments. I'm going to be quiet now because my, my comments, my, my reactions get really, really long. Um, let me know what you think and I hope you guys enjoy your day and let me know what you think. And as always be safe.